Hey everyone, it's Matt here again from FilterGrade and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to load the Hasselblad 500C. Um, this is a medium format camera that shoots 6x6 film slides and when I first found out about it I was really intrigued um, with the, the square format. I'm used to shooting usually horizontal portraits that are 3x2 ratio and to shoot 6x6 six six was kind of a bit scary but also a bit exciting and that's one of the main reasons why I decided to go with this camera. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at how to load the, the camera. So you're going to start by taking the film back apart from the film camera body. To do this you'll slide right on the lever and pull back and this will release the two. And now you can set the camera body aside and go ahead and just get a look at the back, become a little bit more familiar with it. You might wonder what this thing sticking out on the side is. This is the dark slide. This is to protect your film from the light when there is film in the camera. Um, if the film slide isn't in here, then you wouldn't be able to take the film back off of the camera. But because we're going to be loading the film back today, let's go ahead and just leave that in and take out the film spools. So to do this, just take this lever and go counterclockwise. And once it's counterclockwise, you can pull it out and just set the film back aside. Go ahead and take a look and just see what's going on in here. Usually your film take-up spool might be over here from your last roll. And if it is, just go ahead and release this and place it onto the other side so that it's ready to go. You might get this. Don't leave it like that. Kind of twist it and turn it until it clicks into place. You don't want anything to come undone while you're shooting film. Um, so once you have this ready, you can just leave everything in place. And So now you're just going to grab your film and go ahead and unwrap the film. One main important thing to note while you're shooting with the Hasselblad cameras is that you don't want any paper to be left on the roll of film while you're shooting. Um, many people have mentioned on forums and just online and just from personal experience I know that if you do leave any film along the outside it could get caught along here and what this will cause is the film spool will jam inside of the film take up back and you won't be able to pull the film out once you're ready to be done shooting and this can cause you to lose some film which nobody really wants so to get started loading you're gonna grab your film as you can see this is right side up and with the film leader on the top facing out you're gonna go ahead and flip this upside down so that the film is facing from the bottom it's facing out to the right Okay, so now that you have the film in place, go ahead and put the film into the take-up spool and lock it into place. Make sure it snaps in and go ahead and lead the film around the back side and begin. As you can see, on the Hasselblad take-up backs, they actually have a lever to feed the film through which is used to hold the film in place while you're loading your camera. So go ahead and get this underneath and load your film and begin pushing your film forward. Once you have enough pulled through and that's about a good amount, you can go ahead and actually turn clockwise or counterclockwise and the lever will lock the film into place for while you're loading it. Once the film is held in place by the lever right there, you can go ahead and feed the film take-up strip into the feet of the take-up wheel, which you can see right here, and then begin winding the take-up spool. Might come out if it's not caught all the way yet. Just go ahead and get that into place, and once you're ready, Go ahead and just begin winding it on. Make sure it's nice and tight. And once it's 
once it's tight enough, you're going to want to take a look at the lever again and pull it clock pu push the lever clockwise so that the lever comes up again. Now it's not tight. And begin feeding this onto the take up spool until you see the arrow over here. My take up spool actually doesn't have the start but I drew one in and you're going to line it up per just parallel with this line. And once it's parallel, you're good to go. And now go ahead and place the film back into the cartridge and lock it into place. And once you're ready, go ahead and put the camera back back onto the camera body. And for most people, for most tutorials rather, um, people will tell you just wind this knob until it stops and a number one will show up in the window and then you're ready to start. However, if you have an older back like I do, you can wind forever and no number will show up. You'll just go through the whole roll without taking any photos. So in order to prevent this from happening, what you're going to want to do is open up the back latch and look through here. When you're looking through here, try and look for the number one to show up and once the one appears in the latch that's when you're going to need to actually just keep winding and you'll see some arrows you'll see some lines but keep on winding until you see the number one in the dead center of your circle, which I don't think you can see right now, but you're going to need to find the number one. And once you're ready, go ahead and close your back and set your ISO. Um, and when you're ready to show number one in your window box, go counterclockwise on your lever and the number one will show up. And now you're ready to shoot number one once you take the dark slide out of your, out of your camera. So that's it for our tutorial today, guys. Um, if you have any questions about using the camera or shooting with it, we'll be making a tips video for beginners on how to use the camera. And we'll also be responding to any of your questions in the comments. So feel free to drop us a question down below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.